All right. So, Donnie, did you ever give us your prediction of the Alabama game? Yes, in yeah. 2017. Yeah. Alabama. I think I got in here that. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, that's because you're getting old. You need to hear an age. You fall in. Well, anyway, I can't fall. Well, next day, we'll have a video coming up from that uh, Patriots Day, too. All right, Zach, what else you got, buddy? Well, I was going to read what uh, they asked uh, C Christian Jones and C.J. Mosley what they thought about it yesterday. And uh, Mosley said, that's upsetting to hear, but that was a different day. That's what happened in the past. And the coaches do a great job of informing us and our parents about agents and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that won't be happening again. If, you know, like I said, if it's true. Then, uh, now, you know what the other controversy yesterday was? It was Bear Bryant's 100th birthday. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I. The and other I, controversy was it was the 12th anniversary of 9 11, and people were saying, why, you know, my deal is get over it. It's not. Yeah, but well, it was the 100th anniversary. You still remember. I mean, I, mean, I, I remember 9-11. I mean, I know a lot of people. Ever every, nobody's never going to forget 9-11. But, I mean, you know, like I said, it was also Tom. I know Tom Landry, I, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, that was his birthday. I'm sure in Dallas there was a lot of people remembering Tom Landry, you know. Nah. So, so, I mean, nobody's ever going to forget 9-11. But I do agree that USA Today, what, had a small clip on it, Yesterday, Jamie, and Hustle Times, I don't think, had a big, real big... Speaking of Bear Bryant's yeah. 100th birthday, here's my photograph with him that was uh, given to me. Oh my! No, i got to show it. we, we got to show it. Enough. <laughs> he, I showed it to Jeff. He loved it. Well, yeah, well, I don't know. You seen my picture from Pope Coach Bryant? Hey. I haven't. Hey. Hey. Uh, see it. What? Yeah, there, there he is. is. There I am. Yeah. Uh, who's in the like background? Is that, is that the uh, guy back from the 60s Cute there? Video right beside Don 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 that's Big John. I think that's Big John. That's what I like doing it. I think 19, it's 1976. I, like I had a little different look going on at the time. It's not a bow tie. Sure was, was it a bow tie? I thought it was no, a bow tie. No, it wasn't a bow tie. It looks like a bow tie, but it wasn't. It looked a like a bow tie. I used to be a well-dressed man. Okay, whatever. Okay. Now I'm just, now I'm just cozy. Y'all enjoying our new network, cozy? You've been watching Six Million Dollar Man. Six Million Dollar Man. I need to check out Charlie's Angels. The graphics are just it. horrible as far as the movies made back then. You go, oh my gosh. I but like it's good it. TV. It's good it's quality great, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, September is Hitchcock month, and they're showing all the movies, the birds and all that show this that month. That scares too. me. Yeah, Charlie's Angels. I watched it the other night. Um, Magnum P.I., Marcus I Welby. Those hairdos, man. All that good stuff back <laughs> when I was just starting out in the TV world. So, all right, Zach, what you got? Well, tonight, uh, Thursday night football, you got the New York Jets against the New England Patriots. That could get ugly. They just said Mark Sanchez saw Dr. Andrews and looks like he's got a torn labor and probably had to have surgery out for the year. That's really? Rex Ryan. Uh, thanks, Coach. I'd tell you, said, thanks, Coach, put me in with the third string and let me get hurt. Now I'm out for the year. What a man, Rex Ryan. What a good job of you. Um, the Sunday, you got the Rams and the Falcons, which I believe that will be Falcons a Falcons blew one Sunday. Uh, Falcons didn't blow it. Go Saints, baby. You got a Sunday night football. You're going to have the 49ers and the Seahawks. Clint's a 49ers fan, so I'm he'll be excited for that one. I'm a 49ers. Then Monday night football, I'm not too happy about it. You got the Pittsburgh Steelers against Cincinnati Bengals. Don't the Manning boys play each other this weekend? The Manning yes, boys will play, so you know that game will be on uh, I'm TV. Uh, that's going to be on CBS. Denver's awesome, ain't it? 325. Denver's good, man. Denver's so I'm sure good, we'll get that game. Uh, what do you think, Jeff? Uh, Denver, New York. Pro football. I pull for the one that's got the most Alabama players on it. Right now, baby. Right now, it's about everybody. <laughs> there, Alabama. Uh, Tennessee Titans, let's not forget to everybody likes Titans right here. Titans play the Texans 12 o'clock. I'm a Falcon fan. Well, Julio fumbled the other day. All right, yeah. I better it's time to get my word. <laughs> sure did. Uh, Led to a touchdown. All right, let's get some words of wisdom on this Thursday. It ain't a Thursday with all of our. 100,000 viewers out there, unless Zach tells us what we need to know about how to stay good. Zach, you like morally you correct. Back. Okay, I got two of them. I'll go with these two. Okay, slow down and enjoy the journey right now. No. Take time. I fell down and enjoyed the journey. <laughs> All right, let me re start again. Slow down and enjoy the journey right now. Take time for the people in your life. They won't always be there. Well, the rate I'm going, I ain't gonna, I'm going to be the first one to go. All right, Zach, what's your Thank you for not allowing me to sell for second best. 
God, every time I thought I was being rejected from something good, you were redirecting me to something better. God, I pray you will keep giving me peace when frustration creeps in. I pray you will give me strength to press on when I'm told no. God, I thank you for teaching me that no is just a step to now, it bigger and better. Thank God. They're right, Glory. Now, where will you be on the field Friday night at Ardmore for their home opener? I will be on the other end where Coach Leg don't have to see me, and I'll try to be getting getting him a little, a few pictures of uh, of the defense, and try to see if I can help him out. Hey, don't get him a penalty. All right, we're gonna talk Coach Leg in a second, watch. Coach Leg, and then Mojo I hear is gonna Make an be here in a second in just a little bit. Talk about a. He's quarterbacking. I can't believe it. Yeah, I can't either. Yeah. All he's got to do is run like five minutes and he's done. I heard a rumor. Did you get hit by a water bottle while you was looking in your iPad on the sideline? <laughs> Fourth, okay, Did I got the word of wisdom. Fourth quarter at Butler game on Milton Frank the other night. It's fourth quarter. Coach Lay's getting fired up, and I was doing like Coach Cochran, getting fired up. <laughs> well, one of the players, he didn't see me stand there. He was going to throw the water ball to the sideline. Smug. <laughs> hit me right there in the chin. Luckily, he was like, you are? I'm like, am I bleeding? He Did said, no. Nice. Well, right. Did he pick you up and you? No. But, man, that hurt. He slung about 90 miles an hour. Oh. Took my chin out. If you could jump. Watch yourself, man. I got to be careful. If you could jump. If you could jump. I'm trying to show and get that brain scan. That's why I can get we'll take a break. Y'all hang on. <laughs> Go Tigers. If you could jump.